Hey kids, it's me again, time traveling Thomas. Oh wait, are we live? Well, yeah, Cora, we're live. We're live. We're oh live. my god. Hey kids, I was just, I was just, I was just looking at the, the clouds. Those yeah, they, they do look nice today. Beautiful yeah. God created clouds. God, what is creation is so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> well, speaking of creation, it's been it's been awesome to, to learn more about the Garden of Eden and what what happened at the beginning. Look at that one cloud. Kinda oh, that is pretty cool, Carl. Kind of oh. looks like a Volkswagen. <laughs> All right, let's stay focused, Carl. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. Here so we go. So Eden, Eden, right? Eden, We're yes. back in Eden. We're going back to Eden. Going back to Eden. And we're learning some pretty incredible and important stuff that happened at the very beginning. It's true. Yeah. So true. Yeah, so I don't know about you. Ready to dive back in? Yeah, let's fire up this old time machine. All right, we got our logos here. Load up the logos. Load up the logos. Let's All go. All right, let's get this dialed in. Loading. Logos. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. I can't stop shaking. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Think we made it. Here we are. We've arrived. All right. Whoa, look, look at that cloud. <laughs> That's trip. <laughs> All right. All right, so back in Genesis 3. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was desired to make one wise. Wait, are we talking about the bad tree? Yeah, Carl, we're, we're going back to what we talked about last week. Oh my goodness. But there's some very important details that God wants to show us. Okay. Yeah. So she's looking at the tree and she's like, Man, that thing looks good. Yeah. But it, it wasn't good. Exactly. Uh, sorry, keep going. Oh, you're good, Carl. Yeah, the tree was to be desired to make one wise. And she took of its fruit and ate it. No! She no, ate it. No, 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 and, no! And that's a key no. word. We'll get back to that in a second. And she also gave some to her husband. No! Who was with her, and he ate it. No! So they, they both oh, oh. ate of the tree. No! Bad out of bad Eve. Yeah, that wasn't a very wise choice, was it? Unwise choice. Yeah. It's an unwise choice. <laughs> Why? Why did Adam say something? You know, Carl, that's that's a really good point. Why was Adam silent? Why was Adam standing in silence? He was right there. The whole time. You wanna know what I think? What do you think, Carl? I think that was actually the first sin. I think the first sin wasn't eating the fruit. I think the first sin was the silence of Adam. Wow. I, yeah, I think you're onto something, Carl. Why was he silent when he saw his wife there reaching for the fruit? He didn't say a thing. You know what? What's up, Carl? I think sometimes we make the same mistake, like yeah. when family members are making unwise choices or mm. like when our friends are doing things that are hurtful to themselves and others. Yeah. When we don't say anything, we're committing that same sin. Wow. The sin of silence. Wow. Yeah, kids. So I don't know about you, but what is something we need to do if, if, we, if we hear Never be silent. <laughs> Never be silent. La, 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 la. Sound the alarm. La, 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 la. Stop saying. La, la. Everybody, make noise. La, oh. la, la, la. Sound the sin alarm. La, 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 la. <laughs> well, yeah, th we should speak up. We should speak up if our friends or our family if, they, if they're, they're making an unwise choice and we see it, we see that that's not God's best for you. But what about, like, is it, maybe it's none of our business. Like, that's what everybody says. Like, they're doing something dumb, but it's none of my business. But, but if we're family, yeah. we're the family of God, then it yeah. is our business because it's the Father's business. So we've got to say something. It's right. And we are all one big family. And, and we have to look out for each other, to have each other's back. You know, it says in the Bible that we are one body. Uh, and so we got to stick together. Hey, I have a question, Time Chatting Thomas. What's up, Carl? What should we say when somebody is about to do something 
And it's not right, and it's sin. Well, Carl, you actually said it earlier. What? No. Wow. Yeah. It's so simple. You know, we can tell the enemy, no. You can? Yeah. Oh my goodness. No. If you nobody ever told me that before. <laughs> but yeah, if there's a temptation, or there is, yeah, if, if there's any kind of deception or a lie, we just say no. I didn't know that, that us kids were allowed to say no. That's right, and we can say it with authority in Jesus. Can we practice that right now? Yeah, kids, let's all practice it together. All right, on three, we're gonna yell, no. All right, one, two, two three, three, no. no! So to anything the enemy says, we say no. no. That's right. I think they could be a little louder. What I do you think, think so too. Let's do it. <gasps> no! no. That feels good. That's powerful. It feels good to yeah. not sin, but to say no. That's right. Say no to drugs. Say no to the devil. That's right. <laughs> and, and tell your friends no in there. That's right. Being silly. That's right. You guys, and, and as we do this too, we can encourage and build one another up. But again, we're, we just want God's best for each other. We want what He desires for all of our friends and family. Kids, imagine if Adam had spoken up. Yeah. Imagine if Adam hadn't been silent. Yeah. Man, we can prevent a lot of bad when we speak up. That's right, what Carl. Right. That's right, Carl. So good. So good. So good. So good. Well, I, I feel empowered. I feel, I feel like ready. I feel like no is kind of our declaration today. I agree. I think we should get a blessing from Mr. M. I agree also. All right, Mr. Moses, back to you. Take back it away. You. All right, goodbye, kids. See you, kids. Bye. Now I'm going to bless you. Hold out your hands in front of you as I, Moses, give a blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.